Hello Taurus, it's general reading for the sign of Taurus. And before I begin, I would like to welcome um, you to this space. It's wonderful to have you here. And I'm really happy to be here as well. Um, also want to remind everyone that this is a general reading and um, it will not fit for everyone, um, but hopefully there's something here for you as you move forward in your journey. Let's go ahead and get shuffling now and get right into this Taurus. All right, let's go ahead and get into this energy. All right, so we have here for, for the Taurus people, um, the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Stars Energy, and the Queen of Swords. Um, so we have um, a Page of Pentacles here. This is a... Um, uh, this is an improvement in a situation. There is a somewhat of an improvement here. Um, it's maybe not a big improvement. It's maybe something that um, it could even be a message. It could be some sort of incoming. Um, uh, it could be some sort of incoming improvement in finances. Um, it could be an offer of a position or um, finding some sort of job um, in, in online that that really feels good for you and maybe you um, reach out and maybe there's a response that that helps you feel um, like this could be something that you could really um, um, move into or or um, maybe it would fit you really well. Uh, remember, it, it's a newer energy, but it's a newer energy of stability with the pentacles. It has the tendency and an indication of bringing um, a an improvement into your experience. Um, although it is not um, an ace of pentacles um, or a knight of pentacles, it is the beginning of something. Um, and it, it's it's the beginning of something where you don't really know exactly where it's going, but you do see an indication, you see a tendency, um, you, you see clues um, uh, that is all beginning to improve for, for you. Um, you could have um, a, a very small um, improvement in finances. You could have um, some savings that are being accumulated that you didn't have before. But somehow there is something here that's improving now, Taurus, in your situation that has to do with your way of life and your daily operations and the way you experience the world around you. We have the Ace of Swords here. So um, there could be a decision that you're making. There could be a message that's coming through. Um, there could be something here that helps you understand. You could find new understanding or gain a new perspective about something um, that's going to help you. Um, it's going to help you make a determination. It's going to help you move forward. And it's going to give you clarity about something. Um, the Ace of Swords is something that helps us find finality it helps us create um I don't, i'm not sure if finality is a word but um it helps us build final energies or make a final determination but it's also a victory energy it's an energy of victory and triumph it's an energy of doing something right it's an energy of finally something happening um that 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 helps you with an understanding of something with the ace of swords um the star's energy is an energy of um, a destiny. It's energy of finding yourself, of learning what the truth is. It is the energy of healing. It's something that allows you to step forward in a way um, that's transparent, that is um, speaking the language that is your true language, whatever that is. Um, and I don't just mean um, language like English or or French or German. It's a, it's your own soul's language, your own essence that essence that comes from your own heart, and it helps you reach out and connect in with your destiny or what is truly meant to be for you. And it helps you be real. It helps you be um, your unique self. Um, the star's energy um, is something that comes to you after a journey. It comes to you after something that um, has required you to um, or has led you down a path of mystery or of pain or of sorrow or of even regret with the star's energy. It is an energy that ultimately will bring you um, new to a new understanding and will help you um, find confidence in yourself and really help you to speak your truth. 
with the star's energy. Um, we do have a Queen of Swords here, and the Queen of Swords is an energy of expression. It's an energy of speaking your truth. Um, it's interesting that we have the star's energy, which is an Aquarius energy. Um, doesn't mean that, that there's an Aquarius attached to this. It just means that it's a very Aquarian type of of thought system, a very Aquarian type of moving forward. But we also have the Queen of Swords, which could also be an Aquarian, or it could be a Libra or Gemini, or just anyone who is in a position of expression, of speaking their truth. And remember, the Queen of Swords can sometimes be intimidating. The Queen of Swords is a very direct communicator, and the Queen of Swords is very much um, someone who uh, can um, protect and can bring in energies of... Um, of guardianship for something. Um, the Queen of Swords is someone who has been through a lot. Um, just because we say that this is the energy of Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius does not mean that any other energy that, that takes up the Queen of Swords within them has not been through rough times. This is someone, no matter what the sign, that has been through something something and maybe a series of events that have been very difficult for him or her. And so when they speak, sometimes they can be intimidating, they can be overly sharp, they can be overly strong, but there is something here that is being expressed in the current period of time. Something here that is needing to be expressed um, from the point of view of the Queen of Swords. And it is, um, it is, um, if this is Taurus that expressing it, Taurus, please remember that you could be intimidating. You could be, um, harsh in a way. Um, but if there's something to be said, there's something to be said. And it does, um, signify that you have really found your own truth and you have really connected in with what you feel is a, is a path for you that is just right for you. And it might be something that you want to express. Um, there might be some kind of message here that you're wanting to express, um, to someone here. And it could be the person who you're expressing it to could even be, um, somebody who is normally in the Queen of Swords. So, um, with, with the Page of Pentacles, we see that there is an improvement here or there's an indication of improvement. Um, there is a feeling here of, um, finding, um, clarity in a situation. Um, it looks like you have really, um, come into your own now and you have really found a version of yourself that you feel good about, that you feel confident about. Um, it looks like you're really able to be yourself now and speak in your own voice. And it looks like there's something here or someone here who is going to be um, having something to say. And for, for many of you Taurus people, this is something that you have to say, um, whether it is in protection of who you are or whether it is in uh, uh, describing who you now are. There might be some kind of um, descriptor or message that you want to send out to someone or that you have something to say that is protective about who you are now um, because you have been through quite a difficult journey here with a star energy. Um, so I see you in a, in a, in a place of finding clarity. I see improvement in your life. I see you really finding yourself in a new and beautiful way. And there is probably something here that is needed, um, that you're needing to say. Um, and I think these are, um, uh, it's a, it's a real empowering time for you. And not to say that the Queen of Swords, sometimes it might be difficult for the Queen of Swords to speak. Um, it's not that it's easy for the Queen of Swords to speak, um, but that it's necessary for the Queen of Swords to speak. So, um, I, I'm, I, I'm glad to see that you have, um, really come into a position of strength, Taurus, and it's beautiful to see. And it's beautiful to see the Ace of Swords. It's beautiful to see the star energy, which talks about healing and empowerment. And it's beautiful to be able to see you, um, speak your voice out in a way that is really meaningful to you and helpful to you. All right, so let's go ahead and see what's coming in for you or what you're connecting with in, in the next immediate future. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's here. Okay. 
me see how I'm going to do this layout that I've concocted here. Well, this is certainly interesting, Taurus. So let me see if I can get myself into this and see what comes out here. Um, what's interesting is we have the Three of Wands um, next to the Six of Swords, and the Six of Swords is on its side. Um, it's, in a, it's in the middle of changing. It's in the middle of um, finding itself. And then we have the Three of Pentacles in the upright with the King of Pentacles in the upright. And there you are, Taurus, standing tall and looking at your... And looking at your treasure there um, in the cabinet, and look how many cabinets there are, my friends. There's lots of cabinets. And so I'm wondering if you're trying to figure out how you're going to fill those other cabinets or if you've already looked at all those other cabinets to see what's in there. Um, there could be many vaults here or that are full, or there could be vaults here that you're um, looking to fill. Uh, whatever this is, you are looking at um, how to really plan um, for your future. And I'm getting caught up in the King of Pentacles here. Um, we have the strength energy over the top of the Three of Wands and the death energy over the top of the Six of Swords and the Three of Pe uh, Pentacles and then the Ten of Cups um, over the top of, of the Three of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So um, this is going to be a little bit interesting here, Taurus, but I think that you like that. I think that that really um, is it's interesting to kind of dig deeper into these energies um, rather than just kind of glancing over the top. Well, what I see here, first of all, is two, three energies. And the three energies are inspiring energies. They talk about a new beginning. They talk about um, really feeling um, excited and about life and putting the work and energy into the job that you're doing or the work that you're doing. You have the Six of Swords now coming between them. And this Six of Swords is very much... Um, a, a part of a lot of this reading because we can see that four other energies connect in, <coughs> excuse me, um, four other energies connect in with this six of swords. So um, while this, while you perhaps usually like to just get down and work and move ahead and get things done, you might have been in a period of time where there was complexity and, or you might be moving into a period of time, um, or since I said that, you might already be past this experience and just saying, oh, this is my past as well. It just depends on where you are in this situation. Nevertheless, there are energies here, there are situations here, they're kind of all merging together into one. And it has to do with really finding clarity, realizing what your story is, um, what your place is in the world and where you are and what you're doing and what you believe in. And um, I think it's these energies here with this, this um, finding your identity with the Six of Swords. It's almost like recreating your identity or finding your identity again and really putting that to work. Now, with the strength energy, that could have taken you um, a real, um, it could have taken um, a real energy within you. It could have taken all the fire from you. You could have had to really build yourself up and step out in a new way to reconnect, maybe with a new future or maybe with a new experience here. Because we see you moving forward now as you kind of really cement yourself in and settle yourself into this situation. We really see you moving forward now in a much more harmonious and peaceful way where you're starting to understand, okay, this is my trajectory. This is my pathway. I'm going to set settle into this now and really make something of this um, with the Three of Pentacles. And I see with the Three of Pentacles, it's a refining of your craft. It's a building something that um, perhaps um, you're being trained for that you haven't worked on yet. Maybe this pattern hasn't been built in this door yet that this craftsman is, is creating. Maybe he's just figuring out what this pattern is and learning how to do it. N nevertheless, there is an energy here of inspire, inspiring and of passion, of really um, having the energy now and the strength of character to really step into this role. And it looks like it is having an impact because here you are looking at the bigger picture in life and making some pretty big decisions about how you're going to move forward to bring in um, happiness um, and joy and, and, and a happy family for yourself. Um, we do have the death energy here in the middle of the reading. And because this is my spot that I like, that I've chosen to really, um, um, 
tell a bigger story here, it talks about transformational energies. It talks about endings and how endings affect us, how endings occur. It talks about the reason for endings and, and perhaps we don't always understand why endings happen, but they do happen. They happen to each and every one of us. So I feel like this ending that happened here really affected the way you thought um, about yourself and the way you thought about your journey ahead. And it required you to really restart again and really start your thought system back. Uh, maybe your your engine had to be turned off completely and then restarted again. Um, and I feel like it was restarted here with this new endeavor that you took up or this new, um, even a new relationship that you're in, that you're just in the beginning of creating here with the three energies. Because the three of pentacles, it talks about your reality. It doesn't have to be your work that you're doing. It can be a relationship. It can be um, learning how to be a parent. It can be learning how to be a um, community member or a church member or um, in, in a member of some kind of society. Um, but it's, it's a newer energy. These are newer energies. And it looks like you're able to really move forward now, um, understanding that this ending was truly a part of your new beginning. It, it built um, in a way, a, a new beginning for yourself. And um, whether the death energy is an energy that you can um, that you can say was from a, um, a, an enlightenment or um, realizing new information about yourself or was a death ending because there was an end to something like a relationship or even an ending to a person who passed on into into onto the other side. There was an ending here and also a new beginning because with every ending is a new beginning. And I think it was in this period of time here or within this period of time that you're coming into this new realization of what you have and what you can work towards and the abundance and the stability that can be here for you. Um, so I do think um, as you're moving forward, there is happiness here connected to this new beginning. Um, there is fulfillment here. There is um uh, um, happiness ahead for you or happiness even connected. Maybe you're really just happy doing this work and you're happy understanding that you are creating a new future for yourself. It, it, it's something that could be just very simple, Taurus, um, but, but it does show you here connecting in with happiness. And I think this happiness has to do with stability. It has to do with the resources that are around you and maybe the company that you're with or um, the home that you have or maybe it's understanding how you can build um, and and create um, stability around multiple multiple areas of your life. Um, having one thing that improves can really help other areas of your life improve. And I think that it does have to do with this new beginning. You can't deny that the Ten of Cups is over the top of the King of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. So as you're moving into the future here, I think that you're really gaining new perspective and really solidifying who you are and the ideas that build who you are and the way that you think and the way that you move ahead. It, it's creating a more peaceful um, journey for yourself. And I think this peaceful journey is really helping you focus in on this new beginning and really helping you learn about how to do this and about how to make something of this for yourself. And it does have to do with the bigger picture of your own uh, foundation that you're building. It does show that this is taking quite a, that this will take some energy from you. Um, I, I realize that I am speaking for some of you that this might even currently be happening. So there could be some of you here that are a little hit ahead of the rest. Just re remember that um, we're not all moving at the same speed. So there, there will be some of you here that have already experienced this story and are looking on it as Yes, this is what I'm going through. And this is meant um, to help you. Um, and for those of you that are coming into this energy, um, I see here something um, of a settling and realizing um, a, in a peaceful way how to really move forward and understanding the value of this and how it can really bring stability and abundance into your world. And I love that the Ten of Cups is here. So this death energy is here, and I think it was probably difficult for you. Death energies are difficult. Um, endings can be difficult. They can be hurtful. They can really create a loss in our life. And new beginnings can be hard, too, as well. And I think that maybe you weren't even sure about this new beginning. Maybe you weren't sure that you could do it, or maybe you weren't sure that it was 
fit for you. Um, I'm still talking in the past. So for some of you, this could be something um, that you are experiencing now. And I'm questioning whether I should redo this reading and I'm not going to redo it because um, I have to also take into account what I say all the time. And that is we're all moving in different speeds and we're all at different points in this pattern. Um, so for some of you, you're moving into this into happiness, into this new um, beginning that you're feeling so inspired by and optimistic by and feeling good about and seeing indications of success about and being able to make decisions about your overall gain in your assets and liabilities and what you um, what you have at your disposal to enjoy. Um, for those of you that are in this energy now, I hope this is bringing you some sort of comfort and guidance as you move through this. And I love that the Ten of Cups is here. It is a, a it is a um, as shall we say, a rainbow for those of you who have been through trials. It is a rainbow that shows that that times are getting better. And it's because of the work that you're putting in here and your mindset and your strength and your inner will and your um, that that lion within you that really helped you get out and about and do something that um, that you maybe thought that you couldn't do. So this is a victory energy. It's a strong energy and it will um, send you into um, be able to um, stand very um, uh, powerfully and confidently in exactly who you are and how you feel comfortable Taurus let's go ahead and look at the um, guidance that's coming forward for you So the guidance is coming forward here with the Four of Swords and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Um, <clears throat> the Four of Swords um, talks about um, healing, spending some time now to really do what's what's helpful for yourself and resting now and realizing the journey that you've been through, the pain that you've been through and allowing yourself some time. <clears throat> Just one moment, let me get a drink. And allowing yourself some time to um, recuperate and realize the importance of, of connecting into your belief system, um, connecting into your higher self and finding alignment with yourself, whether it is in um, in the meditation that you do, in the exercise that you do, um, in the way that you rest and um, connect in with yourself. Um, we do see that this person has... Um, some wounds with the with the four of swords um, this is somebody that is forever changed um, but when we go through this kind of experience it does help um, to bring in um, valuable insight um, it does help to um, build build us into stronger um, versions of who we were before um, even though it has created um, some heartache and um, some some pain within us because the three of swords comes before the four of swords and that is why um, you're in a healing period because this has been a difficult and a sad time for you else you wouldn't need to be in healing um, so i i like that that's here and this is guidance for you to take some time now and do what brings you rest do what brings you do what can bring you into um into a more harmonious energy because we do see the six of swords here coming into your future that you will have um, energies that are balancing out for you and you will be able to move forward in into a more peaceful section of your river of your river of life and maybe you can enjoy life slowing down just a little bit if, if you wish that to be the case and um, we have the eight of wands here in reverse and um, this is an energy that's it's usually about fast fast movement um, a lot of communication, um, things happening, activities happening, could be travel. And um, with the Eight of Wands, it looks like that's going to slow. It looks like that is um, maybe um, not going to happen for some time. Maybe you're get, getting a break now and you're able to just um, enjoy this healing. Um, those people that are requiring you to communicate or asking you to communicate or maybe having you work or or um, really asking you to do things that are maybe you've realized um, that it's important to um, really focus on yourself at this time and heal and really um, pull back from all the demands 
Um, maybe you've realized that some of the activities you've been doing are, are not um, actually necessary for your own enjoyment. Maybe there are for other people and maybe um, because I see a slowdown, I see even a stoppage for some of you in this um, activity. And, and I think these energies put together are energies that really um, are very similar to each other where you're being able to um, really stop all of this unnecessary, well, it could be for some of you that it feels unnecessary or it feels difficult, or maybe it's a, a runaround that you've been in um, with all these keys and all these options. And it looks like there's a person here looking at you like, what are you going to do? Are you going to do that or this? And almost like you might have been tested in what options that you chose um, with this person here. Let me show you. I'm going to put it in the upright and I'll show you how this person is looking at this other person. This person is kind of, the per, the lady in blue is looking um, at this person like, okay, um, I'm not sure um, what's going on. I don't know why you're doing that. It's almost like a, it's almost a judging energy um, here that you might have been feeling like people were watching you or judging you or maybe not understanding you. It looks like that's coming to an end now as you go into a resting period, um, Taurus. So uh, with that, my beautiful friends, I am going to move to the extended energies or into the extended reading. I will look at um, moving the situation out um, into the future, and I will look at the people who are around you and their perspectives um, of, of, the, of the situation or their perspectives as, as this moves forward. Um, so, so Taurus, um, thank you very much for listening all the way through, and um, it's always a pleasure to be in your energy. I'm, I'm glad that you are being able to rest now and really come into your own and um, find your destiny, my friends. And I wish you all the best. Thank you very much.